This is a video for gas interruptions. Recording interruptions at times is really important to ensure our customers are paid correctly and to demonstrate the regulator how well we are performing. I'm going to take you through a number of common scenarios and how you would fill an interruption form on your devices. The first scenario I'm going to demonstrate is where you have multiple interruptions on one job. You should not put multiple addresses on the same interruption form. On domestic, gas has been interrupted, the correct date and the correct time, correct interruption category. Then add a second, change the number, correct time, correct category, Scenario 2. I'm now going to cover off a scenario where you are attending a job after another team has already attended. You must always search for open interruption forms if they are not the first person to attend. edit Look for the house number the time it was cut off the date you click on yes and the gas has been restored the correct interruption category and most importantly the payroll of the engineer reinstalling the gas correct time. That's how you edit an interruption form that's already open. The next scenario is where you have cut the customer off at number 11 but you have been told by the neighbour they are on holiday for two weeks. It is really important you record in the, this in the comments field. This gives us the evidence we need to stop the clock until the customer notifies us they are ready. Additional forms. Last interruptions. Number 11. And then edit. If there is not an existing interruptions form, you would need to create a new one. Correct house number, that is interrupted, yes. The correct date, the correct time, the correct category. And then in the comments section, service.
holiday. Well, contact on return. So this will cover off a number of scenarios where you are unable to reconnect due to customer reasons, e.g. development work, etc. The last scenario is where an interruption form has been raised by mistake, for instance plan work or where duplicate forms have been raised. This will be appropriate if for instance you have found there are multiple open forms on the same job for the same property, or it's on a job raised to mobs which should be recorded through the mobs reporting process or by the GDSPs. So we can see there are two last interruption forms for number 10. So we're going to the first one, edit. We can see that the information, the comments are not correct. So we're going to the second one. Edit. This is where we have to close this down as a duplicate. So we Check the house, the number is the same, and we have to change this for a minute, slightly after the time, and then engineering restoring name, and then in the comments. An error. If you are closing a form created an error, it is important to close it down with a one minute interruption so you can identify it and put in a reason why it is closed. 